It is just another day for hundreds of children in one of the state-run schools here in the suburb of the Indian capital, New Delhi. Inside the school, it is quite evident why most Indians have turned to private schools. Perhaps such schools host hundreds of millions of children from marginalized communities who could hardly afford education for their kids. But the irony is that these government schools are severely understaffed and lack even the very basic facilities for education. We have a strong laws such as the right to education to ensure every child is in a school. But laws alone are not sufficient unless we put them to action. It is important to improve the quality of education and infrastructure in government-run schools, and that's what we are striving for. There are abundant government schools across India, but they're not in satisfactory conditions. But that's not the only problem. The infrastructure is weak and incapable of supporting so many students. According to government statistics, Indian schools are short of around one million teachers due to lack of regular recruitment, poor deployment and lack of specialist teachers. India's Ministry of Human Resource Development says states with lower literacy rates have larger shortages of teachers. Experts believe that the government needs to urgently fill up the vacancies by putting an end to the practice of hiring teachers on an ad hoc basis and permanently appoint them based on their capabilities and expertise. The whole issue is that law, law and policy has been designed such that it doesn't translate into action. A, a child welfare committee which works on a daily honorarium, an Anganwadi worker who works on an honorarium, you know, the systems kind of it looks a little, little ad hoc when it's for children. The Indian government has recently announced a new education policy to meet the requirements with regards to quality education, innovation and research. The policy is aimed at boosting skills and knowledge of children and to eliminate the shortage of manpower in the education sector. But experts believe it is a distant dream given the country's demographic diversity and geographical extent. Munawar Zaman, Press TV, New Delhi.